All right, welcome back to Brain Flow TV, y'all, otherwise known as Hot Topics TV. This is one of the hottest topics out right now. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get right into the story. So straight off the bat, let me say this. When I was growing up, I always heard women say that men think with their small head instead of their big head. As I became a man, I got to realize that they meant that men think with the head that's at their waist level instead of the head that's between their shoulders up top. Well, it seems like women do it also. In other words, we call it chasing dick. That's exactly what happened, the backstory to this story. This woman right here met a man who she wanted to engage, get into, have stuff going on with. And it was worth leaving her child behind to go do so. And it cost her. And it cost her dearly. I know a lot of y'all might have been seeing this on the news because it's a very popular story, but you might not know the whole background detail as to why a mother would have left her toddler at home alone for 10 days to go on a vacation. Yeah, she was recently sentenced to life in prison. Let's talk about this story. Her name is Kirstel Candelario. She's 32 years old. And on Monday, she was sentenced in a court of law for the aggravated murder of her 16-month-old daughter, Jalen. In June of 2023 is when Jalen passed away. Now, the whole story, as published by People, says this Ohio mother had been sentenced to life over the death of her toddler after she f left her at home alone 16 months old for 10 days summer of 2023 she decided she was going to have a hot girl summer in puerto rico in the caribbean in the beautiful puerto rico she decided she met a hot daddy and she and zaddy was going to have a whole bunch of good times but this baby would be a hindrance and this man don't want no damn baby tagging along and she wanted daddy zaddy real bad so hey let me leave the baby and hopefully the baby will be all right when i get back if i could pull this off i'll be all right i don't know what the hell she was smoking snorting shooting up but damn this was not a good decision now mind you the judge gave her a life sentence but we'll talk about that in a minute. Now, Kirstel, 32 years old, she received a life sentence without parole. The judge says you are to never, ever get out of prison as long as you live. This is life in prison without the possibility of parole. Pass parole, go straight to prison, don't look back. This will be your natural life. When you come out of this prison, you will be carried out in a body bag because you will have passed away of old age or whatever it is you passed away of. You do not belong in society and we will not have you there. This was on Monday and the judge called this aggravated murder of a 16 month old baby girl. This is crazy. Now the sentencing comes after Candelario entered her guilty plea in February for one count of aggravated murder in connection with the death of her toddler and for one count of endangering children, according to a online court records. I don't know what attorney she had. The attorney said, listen, it's looking bad for you. The best you can do because they have the paperwork. You know, you book your flight to go overseas they have your paperwork, they have your itinerary, your hotel travel list, everything. You were booked into a resort when you went to Puerto Rico. You had a whole lot of fun. They did their homework and they have the whole record of everything. So the best you can do is plead guilty because if you go up there in court and say anything else, you are facing up to 
40, 50 years in prison. Well, she thought if she get up there and say she's guilty, she'll get prison time, but she'll be out in 10, 15, maybe 20 years. It didn't work that way because the judge wasn't feeling it that way. That judge said life without the possibility of parole. Damn. And it's well-deserved, I might add. Now, Candelario left her 16-month-old daughter unattended at her Cleveland home from June 6th to June 16th. A solid 10 days alone, this 16-month-old child sat. When she returned to her home around 8 a.m., on June 16th, fresh off the airplane from Puerto Rico, fresh off her vacation, fresh off getting her back twisted and blown out by Big Zaddy, who she really, really wanted to be with so bad, she found her daughter unresponsive, and she called the police. The police later declared that the toddler was deceased at the scene. Jalen was discovered in what we call a pack and play pen. Not even a solid crib, a pack and play pen with a liner. She was soiled heavily in urine and feces. And even her blankets and the sheets around her were soiled. Now, this woman didn't even have the sense to clean up properly before she called the police. She just panicked and called the police. Because she thought, oh shit, I didn't mean for her to die. So after she went, had her fun, did all that she did, you know what I mean? She Now she's thinking, okay, that's out the way. So now I got to think logically. Oh damn, I need help for my baby. 911, well, you know, in the United States of America, when you call that 911 and they say hello, and you say it's a child, well, guess who else is coming along? Child Protective Services, yeah, because they want to know what happened with that child from the scene. So they follow the police shortly. So an investigation was done, and it wasn't hard for them to tell that this amount of urine and feces, this couldn't have been in just the last 24 hours. Matter of fact, this could not have been within the last three to four to five days. Ma'am, how long were you gone for? How long was this child left alone? The toddler died of starvation and severe dehydration from pediatric neglect. And this was determined by Dr. Elizabeth Mooney, the deputy at the county medical examiner. According to Mooney, the 16-month-old was emaciated. And check this out. That baby was hurting, man. That baby was hurting. That baby was hungry as hell. While she was sipping my tires and margaritas and eating up all the damn good food, oros con pollo and everything else and having fun down in Puerto Rico, bachataying, dancing and getting her back twisted, that baby was rapidly losing weight. The baby had had a doctor's visit not too long before the mother decided to take off for 10 days and leave the 16-month-old baby alone. When they found that baby, that baby weighed 13 pounds and seven, that baby weighed 13 pounds when they found the baby. The baby weighed seven pounds less than the last doctor visit. The last doctor visit was two months ago at the time that they found her. So this baby... Mm. lost 7 pounds in 10 days I bet mama was on that same trip I'm going to Puerto Rico I gotta lose some weight real quick for papi for when I see papi I'm looking real you know sexy and stuff that baby didn't ask you to go on no diet miss lady that baby didn't ask you to be left alone a 16 month old that's 1 year and 4 months that baby cannot fix itself a meal. And you know the funny thing is if she had left some food in the crib or the playpen with the baby, the baby probably would have fed itself, like eat the food what that what was around. 
Because that's just natural instinct to survive that's built into humans innately from before we were even born. So we come out ready to survive. But I don't know if she left some Rice Krispies cereal in there. That baby probably would have put it in her mouth and choked. So she didn't want to leave anything in there. Damn, she could have left two bowls, okay? She could have left, but the baby probably would have went face down in the bowl and died. I don't know what this woman was thinking. Now, following an investigation, Candelario was discovered to have traveled on vacation to Detroit and to Puerto Rico as she left her toddler at home. She was arrested on June 17th and she was charged with murder and criminal offenses. The county prosecutor said that Candelario's sentencing today of life without a possibility of parole, we remember Jalen because this was about justice for that little baby girl. A beautiful baby girl who was taken from this world due to her mother's unimaginable selflessness. The thought of going on vacation for 10 days and leaving your baby to starve to death in a pack and play is a new low in parental care. Everybody is happy that she got the time that she got. I myself, I'm happy she got the time that she got. I've been asked before to cover this story, but I was waiting for all the details to come out and I was waiting for the court case to come to the part where she was sentenced and all that, and we've had that. Now, Candelario, as her name is, who according to the news reports, she struggles with depression and other mental health issues. There's so much pain that I have in regards to the loss of my baby Jalen. Listen, she didn't have no mental health issues, diagnosis, no medication. She was on no nothing before, right? I'll be honest with you. This is cold, calculated. You're just a wicked woman, period. Wasn't nothing wrong with you. You just wanted to go out. You just wanted to go on vacation. Sometimes, I don't know, some of these women, you spread your legs, you get pregnant. In a time when we're living in a time in history where there are more contraceptives than ever before out here. So if you really don't want to be a mom, if you really don't want to be uh, strapped with a baby, then put yourself on one of those contraceptives so you don't get pregnant. You know what I mean? And I know somebody is going to be like, oh, so where was the father then? Because the daddy is not in the picture. Well, stop making poor choices. A lot of you make, a lot of women make poor choices when it comes to who it is that's going to father this child that they are about to have. You know you ain't ready to be no mama. You know you don't care. In Candelario's story, it is said that she wanted the father of the child with the child. But the father of the child didn't want a child and didn't want a relationship with her. She was encouraged to do an abortion and she went against the man's will and had the... I'm having this baby. I don't know. I'm not a person that believes in abortion either. But I believe in responsibility. Now, if, if a person is telling you, I don't want no kids... Why the hell are you forcing the issue? Chalk it up as a loss and move on. That's what I'm saying, right? Because you went ahead and had the baby and you couldn't have the man with the baby. And now you meet another zaddy who is all the way in Puerto Rico that you want to go spend some time with. And what do you do? You ditch the baby to go get a new man. I bet you if that new man had got her pregnant and she came back, he said, I don't want a baby. She probably would have had that baby too if this baby had stayed alive. I mean, this is twisted. And then here she is crying in court. There is so much pain that I have in regards to the loss of my baby Jalen. Nah, you have pain from being caught. You have pain from being found out and arrested and tried and convicted. That's what you have pain about. She said, it's extremely hurt. I'm extremely hurt about everything that happened. I am not trying to justify my actions, but nobody knew how much I was suffering and what I was going through. God and my daughter have forgiven me. 
No wonder the judge gave you life without the possibility of parole. Imagine being this callous as a mom to hurt your little girl in this manner. You gave that baby a slow, suffering death. When you're a grown person and you're hungry, you could go to the refrigerator and fix you something to eat. And if ain't nothing in the house to eat, you could at least drink a big old jug of water and have something in your stomach. That baby was pooing and peeing and pooping and peeing for 10 days and laying in her poo and pee and couldn't feed herself. And then you had the nerve. That baby laid there gasping and then died. And you had the damn nerve to say that that baby has forgiven you. You just put forgiveness upon yourself. God has forgiven me and my daughter has forgiven me. No, they haven't. And that's the reason why you are where you are for the rest of your natural life. I hope that this serves as a message to other people out there. Who might be thinking about doing this. I know there are people out there who do it like on a night basis. Oh, I'm going to put the baby to sleep. I'm going to put a little um, sleeping stuff in the baby's formula. And put the baby down. And I'm going to go out to the club tonight with my friends. Or it's girls night out at a restaurant for dinner. I'll be back in a few hours. And I know you might think you're not doing anything wrong. And you might think, oh, I wouldn't be that extreme because she went all the way to another country and another state. She was missing for 10 whole days. I'm just gone for like two, three, four hours. Tragedy can strike in minutes. And you might find yourself in a position that this lady has found herself in. There's a woman giving her child a bath. She ended up going to prison too. She was giving her the little child a bath. The bath was filled with water. A long bathtub. And the little child was in there playing. And she left the bathroom and went into another room. And they found her phone records. And it showed that she was actually on social media. You there scrolling Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Liking all the guys you see that got chiseled bodies and look like they have a nice life. Lusting after men on social media while her daughter was drowning in the bathroom in the bathtub. She, she got back in the bathroom. The baby was face down in the bathtub, floating, unresponsive. She called 911. They did their investigations. She went to prison too. Moral of the story is, children are not a game. Children, they're not pets. It's not a little dog that's going to die. And even then, that's bad. But this is a human. And it is your responsibility to make sure that that baby is safe, well taken care of. And you don't do what this woman did. Again, shout out to the justice system. That particular judge nailed it. Hit that nail right on the head. Life without the possibility of parole. I couldn't think of a better punishment. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And I'll catch you on the next video. It's Brainflow TV. Otherwise called Hot Topics TV. And you already know if the topic is hot, we are on it. I'm out. Peace.